Joe Biden was out today and for the most part argued again that black people are helpless, hapless, helpless, and incompetent, basically is what I took away from it. The, the race baiting that, and I don't even know what the other word would be on it, that we're seeing from the president of the United States that we've seen in his past and we saw today, and we're seeing from the Democratic Party, um, how everything is racialized, is really stunning. And I, there's so many moments from today, but I think this is, let's go cut one, G. We'll go right from the top. This is the one that caught my attention for a number of reasons. And, and don't and get ready to stop it. We're not going to play the whole thing uh, to start. Here's Joe Biden today. Listen to this. Roll that. that. The data shows young black entrepreneurs are just as capable of succeeding given the chance as white entrepreneurs are. Stop it. Okay, now, if you're <laughs> thinking to yourself... sounds familiar. Yeah, if you're thinking to yourself that nomenclature and use of words and sentence structure <sighs> seems awfully familiar to me, let's go to cut two, G. We'll go back to cut one from the beginning. Let's go to cut two. Uh, we have this... No yeah, go ahead. This is the reason it sounds familiar. ...notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids, black kids, Asian kids. No, I really mean it, but think how we think about it. Tried to catch himself there yeah. at the end, saying black wow. kids, and when we knew that's what he meant from the start. Mm -hmm. Poor kids, that was his definition of black kids. Yeah, because he paralleled it with white kids. You know, he, you know, he knew what he was saying. So now let's go back to cut one one more time. Here's Joe Biden now today. Roll that. that the data shows... Young black entrepreneurs are just as capable of succeeding given the chance as white entrepreneurs are. But they don't have lawyers. They don't have, they, they, they don't have accountants. They don't have shoelaces. Wow. <laughs> they don't have lawyers yeah. and they don't have accountants. Joe Biden <laughs> is unaware uh, or is unaware of all, all of the black uh, lawyers. Some of them have risen to immense fame in this country, whether you think it was for good or bad, jo Johnny Cochran, I could think of, and mm -hmm. many others, and accountants. And I mean, I, I don't even know where to start with a comment like that. The, the, <laughs> the idea that, you know, I always go back to having, this is why it was so important to me to have the great Walter E. Williams on this show, and thank God we were able to before he unfortunately passed on. But it's like Joe Biden's unaware of the last um, 50, 100 years, 50 <laughs> yeah. years in this country. What, I mean, as long as Walter E. Williams has been writing on these things and these topics, what did he tell us? You take African, the African-American community as a whole and put together the wealth they've created in this country under capitalism, they'd rank as the 15th or 16th highest GDP in the world on their own. But Joe Biden, I guess, is unaware of some of the advance. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that comment means. He's like an unfunny Archie Bunker. You know what I mean? Like, like he just thinks that they, they exist, but they don't know what to do. It's the same thing with voting. Well, you know, we, we got we to gotta have no ID because they don't know how to get ID. They don't know how to use computers either, Damon. They probably don't even know how to spell lawyer or accountant. Come it's, on. It's so this arrogant. Is, exactly. It's so condescending. It's it's terrible. I and, mean, but that's the way he thinks.